Hey, I just want to share a revelation that struck me this morning um, in regards to Matthew 22, verses 15 through 22. You, you, you've heard the story. It's about when the Pharisees went out and tried to catch Jesus um, preaching or teaching against paying taxes. They tried to catch him um, by setting up a scenario where they asked his opinion on whether or not we should pay taxes figuring that he would um, uh, you know tell everybody that you know that's not an obligation God gives you in fact everything belongs to God so give it to God and deny your obligation to Caesar and of course if they were to catch him saying something like that they'd have him right where they want him be able to go ahead and arrest him and stop this big movement that he has started because uh, it was very threatening to their power and authority. A lot of his teachings spoke directly against them and what they were doing. So it behooved them to try to catch Jesus in his words. In fact, they said they said this exactly. Let me read part of the, of the verses here. Then the Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap him in his words. They sent their disciples uh, to him along with the Herodians. Teacher, they said, we know that you are a man of integrity and that you... Teach the way of God in accordance with truth. You are not swayed by others because you pay no attention to who they are. Tell us then what is your opinion. Is it right to pay the imperial tax to Caesar or not? Now you notice here, they're really sugar-coated at, at the beginning here. They're giving him all these compliments about how he doesn't pay attention to titles and who people are. And, you know, Caesar's probably nobody in your opinion, you know. So should we pay anything to him or not? I mean, you speak the truth regardless of who people are um, he of course identifies that this is a trap and he says you hypocrites why are you trying to trap me show me the coin for paying the tax they bring him a denarii or a denarius denarius whatever it's called and he he shows them the coin and asks them whose image is this on the coin and they all reply Caesar's and then he utters the most awesome answer ever <laughs> says, so give back to Caesar what is Caesar, and give to God what is God's. Now, on the surface, this is already pretty awesome teaching. Um, Jesus answers for us Christians a, a constant dilemma of how we are to be in the world but not of it. And he admits here that we have an, a secular obligation, um, an earthly secular obligation, uh, but he's putting everyone in their place here with that last phrase where he says and give to God what is God's because these guys know that everything belongs to God okay so this completely silenced them because basically Jesus reminded them that yes Caesar is in a position of authority and power and you must respect that and give to him what belongs to him but God's power and authority supersede that okay so there's a way to honor God but also honor your earthly obligation but today as I was listening to this passage on the radio it struck me there's a deeper meaning here that I feel like I, needs to be shared or at least I believe there's a deeper meaning here you let me know if you agree or not Jesus seems to point to this image on the coin and admit that that is a sign that the coin belongs to whoever's image that is um, and then when he answers give to Caesar what is Caesar's the implication is those coins with his image on it belong to Caesar so go ahead and give them to him I mean go ahead now give to God what is God's we can assume that means everything because everything was created by God but let's take the analogy and apply it not only to Caesar but to God what or whom is God's image on in Genesis we learn very quickly that we were created in God's image so go ahead and give all your money to Caesar um, but then turn around and give God what belongs to him that which was created in his image give him your life all that you are your talents your gifts all your blessings I mean, that's, that's how it works. And that's how to enter into a relationship with him the, to begin with, is to just 
give up on doing this thing called life all by yourself and give yourself fully to him.